Douglas County man fired up over a prank pulled at a grocery store. He was accused of stealing only to find out it was all a prank shot for social media. Manchester police say they pulled the same scheme at several stores this week. John Kipper is in Manchester tonight breaking down the trick that could, John, come at a pretty big risk. Yeah, Sam and Corey, I spoke with Jim, who says he simply was going to this Deerberg's in Manchester on Sunday to grab a few items. And as he was shopping, he saw an older couple that were removing clothing and emptying their pockets, putting all those items on the ground. He says he thought it was weird, but didn't think a whole lot of it at the time until he was asked to do the same thing. You need any help? Where's the Christmas stuff? A growing trend on social media, going into a big box store or grocery store, and pretending to be an employee. Are you we work buddy? here. What, what's the problem? Yes, we do. A prank now popping up in the metro. Increasingly for attention, kids are starting to do more aggressive things, and it's just a dangerous slope. Jim tells First to Work 4 while shopping at this Manchester Deerberg Sunday, a teen wearing a neon vest, holding a walkie-talkie, approached him. I said that I was being monitored on the security cameras, and that I had been going in and out of my pockets regularly and stealing items. Jim says the guy became more aggressive, even forcing the radio to Jim's face. He could hear someone else giving him orders. Another guy filmed the whole thing. I decided that I was just going to remove myself from the situation, go directly to the front of the store and talk to the management. And the couple he saw emptying their pockets? Prank two. It's disgusting. It's unclear if the videos were posted on social media. The teens left, but Jim snapped photos of the getaway car a black Tesla. Uh, we've determined that this wasn't any sort of a scam or attempt to, to steal thing where kids are trying to get on YouTube. Manchester Police Chief Scott Will tells First Alert 4 they're pursuing three people believed to be juveniles on harassment charges. He revealed the same day the suspects played the same trick at Menards, Walmart and Kohl's. Chief Will says luckily the incidents did not escalate. Depending on the situation, the Lord knows what could happen. Phil Balsamo, who teaches self-defense, recommends, if this happens to you, removing yourself from the situation. Hey, I really need to do what I can to back away, disengage, tell them I'm not interested in whatever it is they're trying to ask me for. Now, I also spoke with Grant Boyd, a victim's rights attorney in the area, and he says in cases like this, the victims, at least in theory, could sue the suspects. He also says the stores involved, as well as the, the security companies that they hire, could also be liable if they don't do enough to stop these types of incidents. Reporting live in Manchester, John Kipper, First Alert 4. Very interesting. All right, John, thank you. New attempt.